Hello, welcome to some art. What am I saying? Welcome to some live art with Studio Central on Facebook. Um, we're here at Upbeat Artworks. Um, across the hall, you can visit us in person at Studio Central for our free art studio where you can use our supplies. But if you can't make it in person, you're welcome to join us for our live on Facebook as well. So before we get started on some art, we're going to show off another one of our artists, one of our newer, newer alumni, um, Katie Bruce. And I will show off some art while, while Kate not Katie, Kate, <laughs> reads her bio. It's Katie Bruce. Uh, Katie Bruce of the Lake St. Martin Reserve was born in Winnipeg in 1992. During COVID, she volunteered daily at Studio Central. Meanwhile, she trained at Urban Circle through Red River College to serve as educational assistant at Winnipeg School Division worked at the Movement Center of Manitoba and learned welding at the Vinan College of Applied Technology. With cousins who are painters behind her, she began painting seriously at Artbeat, where she says her expectations were met in surprising ways. I played it safe, Katie says. I loved having my own studio space. Katie is proud that she creates most pieces with just a paintbrush. No markers, no collages. Still, one piece used cups and shoelaces to lay paint on a decorative piece with circles and lines. Most of her work is acrylic on repurposed canvas or acrylic and watercolor, watercolor on board. Her abstract pieces illustrate the human condition. Non-fitting puzzle pieces represent a knowledgeable and sympathetic outsider's perspective on autism. Intertwined hearts show the love between those you meet in life. At Artbeat, she also tried her hand at pottery, making mortars and pestles, incense holders, smudge bowls, and raccoon pieces. Art provides healing for me, says Katie. Healing, not hoping, she adds earnestly. It helps me make light out of a dark situation. If I don't have the money to buy a crystal, I paint a crystal. Bio by Michael Rennie, photo by Johnny Peters. And that's Katie, one of our Studio Central visitors as well. Oh, here's a couple of her pieces to enjoy. And now we'll head on over to see what we're working on today. Markers, these are markers, and they're also used for stamps, but I did not uh, do anything about that mm -hmm. part because I'm going to use them just as markers. Um, they are really great quality. What kind of markers are these? Uh, these are Faber Castell. Uh, I can create big brush pen, apply to stamps for even color and crisp images every time. It's perfect for applying multiple colors to stamps and for use on all types of papers and even canvas. The unique sturdy brush shape works like a real paintbrush. It bends and bounces back to its original form, excellent for creating a variety of lining, brush lettering, and blending colors on stamps. Made with waterless India ink that won't bleed through your pages and is waterproof, light fast, and archival so your images stay bright and vibrant for many years to come. This big brush gift set includes 15 colors to mix and match. Big brush pens work well with gelatos colors for mixed media techniques. I did not get the gelatos colors. Uh, they're at home. I decided to uh, have a mixed media with acrylic. Uh, as long as we chose what we're going to paint today, it was... Uh, some decision to make. So 
So uh, they're just random images from the internet, Google search. Yeah. And these, uh, this is a fire pit. You're not a fire pit, they're different Some fire pits. Cozy campfires <laughs> is the perfect season, going into summer Some and fall. Some different variations of what anyone can yes. draw or paint. So far. This is just a different kind. So uh, I am giving the choice to you what you want to do first. I think I'm going to steal this one <laughs> with the people around it because I'm interested in having some, some friends around my fire. As for me, I would just uh, decide which one I want. I would think it could be this one mm -hmm. or this one. Or it could be a combination of, could be just a reference without following the yeah. uh, anything from here. So anyway, uh, I can, um, hmm, I guess this one is okay. Mm -hmm. They're both good. <laughs> Oh, this is a very classic fire pit. Like so the fire. question is, what do I want to do with paint markers? Because uh, I did not. Okay, th that's just a follow up from the previous time. Yeah, yeah. And it's not finished yet. It's in progress. More work on it. Let's see all the details that came out of it so far. Um. Let me see. Um, I got one for you, one for me. Um, I think it's good to start with paint marker brush and see. First of all, I never tried this, and I want to see how they work with acrylic. Uh, so I would just make an outline first, and then I might use them for some detail. I don't know yet. So I would just plan. And I would remove this because here it would not. I don't think this is now. Also, just while I'm preparing, uh, we do have uh, the HRP right here. Oh, yes, we have not introduced the pigeon yet. <laughs> so last, um, we have raffle tickets here. Uh, Ten dollars for a ticket. Ten dollars for a ticket, and it's all the um our what's the word? The money we receive, we're planning on giving to Sunshine House to keep the um, mobile overdose prevention site going because they're running out of money, and this is. Um, led by Luca, who's the artist of that piece. It's a beautiful, beautiful pigeon. And so I hope we can sell lots of tickets because it deserves it in so many ways. I will choose two, uh, two markers, one from here and one from here. Um, what about this? It's a both-sided marker, mm -hmm. and this one is honeydew. It's the it's the color. That's honeydew. Honeydew. <laughs> I don't know in what how universe is this try. honeydew color. This it's is like the coral. Outside. That's yeah. That is so good. maybe I will use either one of these for yeah. the fire pit. So what I noticed just by uh, going through the images is that usually there are rocks, there is wood, mm -hmm. uh, and whatever people use for the fire pit. I cannot tell. I'm really experienced in, in anything. I never yeah. did it myself. Yeah. <laughs> so it's something I can paint, but it's something I would never do it myself. Yeah. What is this bark? Wow. Perfect for wood. Nice. <laughs> and we have this, guys. So this is Montmartre. I can try either or and see 
This is a different one. This is one. It's hard to read. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, I will be just trying this out and seeing what works. We got this temper paint stick from Craftsmart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are all our supplies from Studio Central, so it's a little mess. I can try and see how everything that works. Color point detail coloring. Peach tree placings. Fine point. Okay, so all this, if something smudges or does not work, it can be also covered with acrylic. Yes. Let's go. Okay, so I'll try different things. I'm not centering anything here. Whichever pulls in the focus or surface of the paper. How do you start with your piece? How do you choose where to start with your piece? Uh, honestly, I do not this piece to be uh, structured by me, um, mm -hmm. planned. I'm just drawing whatever I goes out. Yeah. Like following your instincts. Yeah. And I do not feel like marking things before. I don't feel it. So mm -hmm. it's literally a lot of artist work is just following your what do you feel like, and you don't have to know the reasons at all. Mm -hmm. So I tried one one side then another side let's see nice <laughs> okay that was bark <laughs> okay let's try this guy <laughs> So I'm not following whatever is here, it's used as just a reference. You know, here you do not know what you're getting until you actually see it. And that's, um, you can see that just putting two different browns together can make a difference already. Mm -hmm. So the main thing is to get the shape before we have the detail. And the shape. Okay, so this was the color point. You see the crop smart? Ooh. Tempera paint stick. Wow. Oh, interesting. You want to try this? You don't, you don't get to the, when you get to browns. No, get to and it brown. is interesting. <laughs> okay, that's a marker that I could not read. <laughs>
do sometimes write details that you cannot really see what it is, isn't it? So you know, this is wood, this is what I mean. Mm. The rock wood, something inside. So it's good to not think too much, but just define that something's there or not define that it's there. Just put a spot and not think about it a lot. This is a both-sided one. This is what uh, artist pen bead brush. So this is from this mm -hmm. set. It's very smooth, very nice. Definitely what oh, you yeah. do depends on the material you have. Mm -hmm. The tool, material, and what you see. The reference image is important. And not everyone wants to draw something out of their hand. Because it's hard to visualize like what is this? Yeah. You don't like as one of them. I could by some point, but this is easier to just kind of let things you know, and some people have different people have different abilities to picture things in their head. I am not very capable of it, so I, it's a lot nicer when I have a reference. So one side is super, super thin, and the other side is it's not bad. Okay, so the sketch would not say anything to you yet, as long as it's not done with uh, acrylic. And when I'm aiming for acrylic, I do not do any, not too much, because mm -hmm. I'll see what happens when I add it. So let's say I put it back. Okay, so we got water, we got wet wipes. Um, okay, for the fire, usually there is lots of white. Okay, I actually... I might use the marker after. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. So I need to choose the brushes. Mm -hmm. Something like this to work. And then for detail, I'll take a different brush and then I could work with something like that as well. Yeah. So this too. And then I got lots of other brushes there which I can take when I'm done with this part. Okay, so um, white. I need to grab some. I brought one. <laughs> I just brought one. Okay, there is more. Okay. 
All right, so I need white and I need yellow. And then it's either brown or orange or both. Mm -hmm. And black. So I would think I would start with just white right here for now. A tiny bit of yellow and then start mixing white again. So you definitely see oranges after quite a bit. Mm -hmm. But I'm starting with just light at first. Did I say orange? No, I did not. So I would just go with mixing reds and browns. <laughs> okay. And I keep adding white to make it lighter and lighter. So this spot did not need to have yellow, I can cover it after. Mm -hmm. So this is what I got so far, then I would take the detail brush, uh, or the brush that I chose, where, where is it? I put it somewhere. <laughs> it disappeared, I did not. Oh, here. Oh. Or I could just choose a smaller one, but I'm going with this for now. So I would add some tiny bit of red. I could do it with just brown, but I will mix a little tiny bit of red and yellow. Mm -hmm. Just keep adding the orange spots here and there. at the end, end where and then I would just take a bigger brush and blend them a little bit and here I would use yellow mm -hmm. and then I would be adding white <clears throat> spots here and there. Just kind of building it up a little bit. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I did not make the shape yet even. I'm just marking it's there. And then working on the shape could be a separate thing after mm -hmm. we're wrapping up with the line. Yeah. Okay, so um, a good thing here would be to add black around. Uh, but before I do that, I would add some browns. So the spots that are close to the fire, they're lighter. So I will just add some brown here and there. And then after that, I will take black, which is, I prefer the liquid one right here. Mm -hmm. That one is a little bit thicker. So mm -hmm. that depends on what, <laughs> what you're using it for. Go to the canyon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we just, Some black and here in this spot it would be a little bit of blending so we could add a little bit more browns with blends and leave some lighter spots mm -hmm. the contrast of that really makes a difference. It, it would definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something I never did with acrylic is I painted a couple of rocks with uh, uh, fire pits or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. If something is horribly wrong, you can always wait for it to dry and paint. Yeah. And I was never worrying about that because I never went for a painting that should be painted from the first try. Because mm -hmm. for that, it's a different process, but just not the process I was going for. Yeah. I was not doing it for thinking hard. <laughs> yeah, we're not. <laughs> no, we're talking about artists who work as artists, and not all artists tend to plan things out, mm -hmm. because when you plan things out, it's a lot of focus, a lot of attention, not everyone is ready to take this project on. Mm -hmm. You can work on one for a year, less than a year, and then... Uh, if you work on a project like that, where are we coming like, to this part, right? So this part is not included in uh, what we're doing um, with a lot of planning and let's say when you have another um, 
something you're doing, whichever it is, doesn't have to be work. It's just life. <laughs> and when we're here, Friday Lives, we want you to join us, but we also think about people who want to actually relax because when a person is focused uh, a lot, uh, they usually know what they're doing really well. So uh, when they would join the live, they would not probably want to paint with us because they have a lot of things going on already. Mm -hmm. So I would think of someone who wants to relax rather than someone who wants to learn a lot to actually put a lot of effort mm -hmm. into something. Yeah, because each Friday you can think about something different. So otherwise it would be one piece for like several months yeah. and I don't want to do that here. <laughs> I have a piece that I want to work on, but I don't have enough want to start to come back to it. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking of actually bringing it here for one of the lives and working with it. But I'm not sure if it's interesting to someone because mm -hmm. it's a continuation of work I started a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And what does it give to a viewer? I don't know. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of us that have pieces that we have started but never continued. We can do like a continuation, like bring an old piece and keep working on it. I know I have some pieces that I intend to work on but never do. So for now, I use markers for sketching, but why is it mixed media? It's not mixed media yet, because if I cover them completely with acrylic, it won't be mixed media anymore. Mm -hmm. So I, if I want to keep it as mixed media, I would leave some of the marker spots and I would see which spots I want to leave out and use acrylic around them. Because uh, acrylic I use is thick, enough so it would cover it completely so that would be just acrylic mm -hmm. so uh as long as we uh thought of i don't know how did we call our life did we call it mixed media or did we call it i called it mixed media camp fires mm -hmm. okay so if to come from how we called it uh, <laughs> i could leave some pieces of marker out mm -hmm. or I could do everything in acrylic and then when it's completely dry I could add paint markers or paint markers <laughs> markers yeah but on top so I have choices to make and let's see what do I want to do here so I can make some brown and white and start from here and I can see so as an example, if I cover it completely, it is still visible, but I would not say it's mixed media. Yeah. Because it covers quite a bit. So this acrylic uh, is not as see-through. So I would just take a very thin brush and go around the lines or spots. And then this way, that would be a mixed media project. Mm -hmm. So I would say I can take a brush like this a line of a brush or just a thin brush and work with colors but around the spots that I made and colors I can go in here are uh, a lot of colors <laughs> if I want to but I can just mix orange brown and red and add white and then I could always modify. I'm not going by the color here. Mm -hmm. I'm just adding random, really random spots, some black. So here is okay, so I need lots of white there. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Browns. So I got a variety of shades. But I do not want to keep it one shade yet. So I would be picking out pieces from here and here and yeah. here. Just getting different shades. Some of them can be covered, some of them. And then, you know what? Uh, the easiest job you can do is um, actually not thinking about anything at all, just doing something. Uh, so for this part of the job, for someone, it would be completely mind mindless to just... I, I got the badge as well, I couldn't add it. It's, it's called territorial badge. <laughs> territorial. What makes a badge territorial? No. <laughs> um, so. Something that I'm going to paint on anyway because I just have the outline. Mm -hmm. I do not go with anything else yet. So the first stage would be just adding random color and then uh, after that putting the highlights. So I do not put the highlights right away in this case. Mm -hmm. Just because. <laughs> just because there is no reason. I could start with planning and putting the highlights and then drawing in, coloring in, or um, looking at the plant from the very beginning. Or I could just make a very random piece mm -hmm. for now and then add highlights and shading. And, well, some shading, but something. I'm not going with details really here, but whatever it will be. So just keep feeling, and I could add any random colors here if I wanted to. We have the whole selection. <laughs> and you know, sometimes this kind of work is a little bit weird for a lot of people that are not used to paint this way because you're going straight into uh, thinking about things. Mm -hmm. like about where is it? Where is it located? And some people would use some of um, just relax before they do something with it.
<laughs> That's why I, I do not bring work that is very detailed. <laughs> yeah. Even this is uh, how, whatever free flow it is, when you focus on work, it would be quiet. I tried painting, because the last time I tried painting with fire, I was kind of when I first started painting, I was over. And it, it didn't have that, like, swelliness, lightness to it. Mm -hmm. And I think I just went too stick and went, like, straight in with the orange, versus instead of, like, letting things peek out and like, cover some places and not others. I don't know, I never had any interest in that until I started painting rocks for mm -hmm. uh, Winnipeg, uh, Winnipeg rocks and it was campfire. It was, I think it was in one of the monthly, you know, there are this, um, mm -hmm. Sometimes there are color palettes. I never used the color palette. But I uh, went with whatever uh, the theme the, of the month was, or mm -hmm. for each day of the month. Do you think you're really good for coming up with ideas and challenging yourself to? Uh, actually, it can block ideas by some point yeah. because it's literally, you know, ideas for someone who wants to go and find an image on the internet mm -hmm. or clip art or whatever it is is one thing ideas for if you want to find a, a photograph and mm -hmm. create a piece that you want to sell is different yes or try and imagine it just out of your imagination so that depends well, what i was doing i was just going simply clip art or google images and picking out Something from there. For someone, it would be different, definitely. Mm -hmm. But for me, it was not much imagination. It was more about um, technique. Yeah. So, technique. Just picking up on some brush strokes and uh, how it's done. But show the camera my. Yeah. Yours is funny so little. I made some little mouse friends at a campfire. Um, perhaps they're witches, um, for the fall. It's a pretty mysterious atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> so mine is not, not done perfectly, but I could just show what I have here. I really like for the, now. the light. So this is what I have for now. This is not... It definitely needs more work, as you can see, but you can see that actually working uh, in a combination mm -hmm. can be interesting if you are able to work with spots, just lines will be different, right? mm -hmm. just because it's not, it, it's not demanding. It doesn't cool. work. So uh, anyway, yes, it's not worked on yet, and I will take a lot of today. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we'll work keep working. Yeah. I'll keep working. Yeah. And again, uh, um, we can decide last moment sometimes. It was a decision from a long time ago, but we were not actually feeling like so we felt like yeah. <laughs> painting it today. The right right we're time. We thinking of painting pets, but we had already yeah. had Bobo and we had painting yeah. pets. <laughs> So, uh, we'll see what we want to do the next time. Yeah. And 
Mm-hmm. We'll see. And yeah, feel we'll free see. to comment anything that you want to see happen. Yes, please. You can absolutely ask and share your artwork with us either on our Facebook page or the Artbeat Creative Community page is another great option. So we'll see you next week. Happy Friday. Bye.